dear friend, I welcome you once again to the DH Media GH. This is the official channel of Dr. Daniel Hinford. The last time when I came your way with a video, we tried to explore or I tried to help you to uh, appreciate the differences between basic biology and human biology. Today, there's another question that someone has asked, and I would like us to explore. The person asked, Dr. Hayford, what is the difference between biology and human biology? What is the difference between biology and human biology? To answer this question, I would like you to understand that the third of biology is one of the major branches of science. The third of biology is one of the major branches of science, and it also has sub-disciplines or sub -thirds. So we can see human biology as an aspect or a branch of the third of biology. The third of biology is concerned with the study of living things or the study of living organisms. And it encompasses various disciplines or sub-disciplines. And such disciplines include cell biology, biochemistry, microbiology, molecular biology, ecology, physiology, anatomy and or morphology. Yes anatomy or morphology. In fact, uh, others may be entomology or parasitology, you know, uh, or botany. Okay. Uh -huh. Usually, biological scientists do study life at many different levels. And such levels include cells, tissues, organs, body systems, and organism. But these are really not all. That's why I said the levels include. So probably if I'm to continue, I would like to say that apart from the cells, tissues, organs, body systems, and organisms, biologists also explore populations. Biologists explore communities, ecosystems, the biomes, and the biosphere at large or on the whole. Um, um, one day I will talk about what these branches do mean. Or you can actually do your own research to explore some of these sub-disciplines of the field of biologists. Living organisms which are explored by biologists are fungi, plants, animals, protists, bacteria, and archaea. Yes, fungi, plants, animals, protists, bacteria, and archaea. Human biology, on the other hand, is a sub-discipline of biology, as I talked about earlier. And it is meant to explicitly answer key questions concerning how human beings got where they are in the first place. The question is, where, why are we here? Why are we here? Or how come we are humans? Where did we start and where have we reached? you know, in the course of our history as human beings. Again, um, the field of human biology is also meant to uh, explain how humans function, how human beings function. So it could include, let's say, human population ecology. It could include human physiology and anatomy. It could include how the immune system of humans work, so immunology. 
it could include um, the biology of the the pathogens that affect or the microorganisms that uh, affect humans or which are beneficial to humans in some way. So the human biology as a subdiscipline of biology helps us to answer questions that has to do with how we got to where we are as human beings right now. Again, how humans function and then again, the niche of human beings in the natural world or the ecological system, the niche, you know, the status, the, the rule of human beings in the natural world or the ecological system. And so the, to, to summarize the difference between human biology and biology as a big third, I should say that biology is broader and it encompasses human biology and some other biology, the biology of plants, the biology of insects, the biology of parasites, the, the, the general ecology of all living organisms, among other things, as we stated earlier whilst the human biology focuses on the biology of the human being, which is just one of the many organisms that uh, the biologists study. Okay, thank you very much for listening, and may God bless us all. Bye-bye.